Hi, I'm Connor Hoffman with Car and Driver. We're here with our 2019 Tesla Model 3 Long Range. Teslas are so different from other cars, even other electric cars. There's so many features that not a lot of people know about because they're hidden in the car's central 15 inch touchscreen. So we're here with our long-term test car to run you through all of the features so you can get behind the wheel of the Model 3. Our Tesla Model 3 has three keys. The first is a Tesla key card, which can fit easily in your wallet. When you wanna unlock or lock the car, just swipe it on the B pillar. The second is your phone. You can set up to have your phone as a key in the Tesla mobile app. The phone set up as a key, you can just walk up to the car and it'll unlock. Or when you wanna leave the car, just walk about five feet away and it'll lock automatically. You can even go into the app and lock or unlock the car there. You can also do some other features in the app too, like opening the trunk or using Smart Summon, which brings the car to you. And the third is an actual Tesla key fob. It's a $150 accessory, which is shaped like a little Tesla Model 3. To lock or unlock the car manually, just hit the roof of the key. It also has keyless entry, so you just walk up to the car, unlock it, or you walk away about five feet and it'll lock automatically. To get in the car, all you have to do is press your thumb into this flush door handle on the right side, pull out on the handle, and just open the door. To get out, there's a button here on the inside door handle. Press it with your thumb, move out with your forearm, and you're all set. Things like the radio, air conditioning, adjusting the steering wheel and the mirrors are all controlled in the Tesla Model 3's central touchscreen. The Tesla Model 3 is very minimalistic, meaning there aren't very many buttons or knobs. There's just the central 15 inch touchscreen along with two scrollable buttons on the steering wheel. Press the little fan icon at the bottom of the screen and the climate controls come up. On the dash, the air actually comes out of this long vent along the dashboard, just above this wood paneling in our test car. All the seats in our Model 3 are heated, so you can go into the climate control settings and choose individually which seats, even the middle back seat, you want to be heated and by how much. The navigation system in the Model 3 is also really helpful. Say I want to go on a road trip and I'm going home to my parents' house in St. Louis, Missouri. I can type in their address and the navigation system would pull it up on the screen and it would show me the route through Chicago and it would show me how many stops I would need to take at superchargers to fill up the battery. It shows me the percentage of the battery when I would arrive at that supercharger and how long it would take to get there. So it schedules out the trip for you in the central touch screen, which is really helpful so you don't have to worry about missing a supercharger stop or knowing where to stop to fill up the battery. You can also find superchargers by using the voice command. All you have to do is hit the little microphone icon at the bottom right of the driving graphic and say, show me superchargers. And then all the superchargers near you will show up on the map. You can also ask other things in voice command like call mom or dad, find me food, pause my song, skip the song, or other things like that. To get started driving, all the controls are on the right stock of the steering wheel. First, you have to put your foot on the brake. Then it's down for drive, up for reverse, or press the button on the side for park. To put the car in neutral, just hold up to the first setting for about three seconds. And remember, it's an electric car, so it makes very little noise. So most of what you're hearing is road and wind noise, except for when you put it in reverse, it makes kind of a cool humming noise when you're backing up. There's no gauge cluster either. Above the driving graphic on the right side of the touchscreen, it shows your speed, what gear you're in, how much energy you're using or regenerating, and it shows the cruise control. To turn cruise control on, just press down on the right stock and it'll set your speed directly under the speedometer. To change the cruise control speed, there's a minus and a plus sign on the side of the touchscreen where the speed shows. You can go up or down there, or you can use the right wheel on the steering wheel to adjust the speed up or down. One really cool part about Tesla is its autopilot feature. No, the car does not fully drive itself yet, but it does pretty close.
All you have to do to engage autopilot is push down twice on the right stock on the steering wheel and autopilot will engage. Once autopilot is engaged, the lane on the driving graphic will turn blue, showing that you're going to keep in that lane. If you have the full self-driving option, like our test car, you can do things like smart summon and auto lane change. To change lanes while in autopilot, you simply just hit the blinker and the car will change lanes for you automatically. If there's a car or something in the way, it'll detect that and wait for the car to pass. Autopilot wants you to keep your hands on the steering wheel at all times. So every 30 seconds at highway speed, an alert will come up on the screen that tells you to put slight steering adjustment into the steering wheel so it knows that you're still there and you can take over any time. To disengage autopilot, you can either hit the brake or jerk the steering wheel in one direction to make sure you're going to take over. And now, thanks to the latest software update, our Model 3 will slow down at stop signs and stop lights. To use the supercharger, all you do is back into the spot, make sure you open your charge port on your car, grab the charging cable off the charging port, plug it in, and you're set. Then, you usually have to wait anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. If you need to kill time, it's easy, because all you have to do is go to the entertainment menu, choose Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, or Twitch, or you can even play games. Just like you have your Netflix or Hulu account logged in on your Tesla, you can also have your Spotify account logged in too. If you don't have Spotify, don't worry. You can always listen to the radio, connect a phone via Bluetooth, or even search for podcasts. The Tesla Model 3 is constantly changing thanks to over-the-air software updates. We got our test car back in October and it's already changed a ton. We've gained things like a host of new entertainment features, access to the car's onboard camera footage, and slowing for stop signs and stoplights in autopilot. We have our car for a 40,000 mile one year test and it'll constantly be changing. So stay tuned to carandriver.com to see how our long-term test is going.